Hello and welcome back to another video and today I have three fantastic video cassette recorders, VCRs or tape players or tape recorders for those who aren't familiar with this kind of device and they play this kind of media. I actually really like it even though it's poor quality just because I, I you know, I associate things with my childhood and I have a you know, a fondness for retro things. But equally, there are may there are people out there who maybe have um, family um, videotapes at home and, you know, they get them out of the loft and they, they want to watch them back and they're after a nice quality uh, tape player to watch the movies back, maybe at Christmas time or whatever. And so um, this is, uh, these, these will be of use to someone who just wants to do that or someone who actually wants something uh, to watch old uh, tape movies on because that's what they like to do. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you each one of these in turn. I'll show you uh, the condition of the unit and then I will do some functional testing, just basic testing. Uh, the only things that have been tested are the things that you see. So, uh, you know, because I can't guarantee, it's, it's, it's easy to do to show you what I have tested because I can't promise that I've tested or or indeed have tested every single function on every single device. It just leaves you open. So um, without any further ado, I'll move on to the first one, which is the one at the bottom. So I'll take the top two out of the way. So this unit's really, really great. This is the uh, the Ferguson uh, FVD100-01. And the reason this is extra great is because, as you can see, it's a twin uh, twin device. So you've got down here Ferguson. It's got compact disc, uh, DTS, Dolby Digital, forehead NICAM, tape player here, DVD drive here, a single set of switches that will operate essentially the same functions on both sides. Uh, with a selector switch here. The only difference is this is the button to eject the the, uh, the video tapes. And with it, you have the original controller. And as you can see here, v, um, VCR or DVD and a variety of functions that goes with it. Um, so condition wise, there are some, some scratches and wear on the top because often these would be in a stack of... Uh, electrical devices so later on maybe someone might have put a, a hi-fi or something on top there uh, but other than that the the front is in con is in good condition uh, the side you know small scratch there nothing much to mention there and on the rear you have the uh, two uh, so dvd decoder and the rgb out some other outputs there and the rfs there and the model number if it's focusing uh, you can see here F FVD 100-01. So that's the condition, you know, moderate scratching on the top, but the rest of the unit's uh, okay. And this is really nice to have the twin functionality. So first of all, I'll pop the power in. Power comes out of the, the lead at the back that's permanently attached and it's a three pin plug. And then in the rear, I'm going to attach a SCART cable into the option that says, uh, the bottom one, RGB out. There we go. So um, firstly, so we'll, uh, yes, you can always see the, the unit is powering on. And I'll do the DVD first, because then after that, we're just onto tape. So you can use the eject here, or you could use, um, and you can see it's automatically selected there. You can also move between the two modes here or using the select button over there. So that's opened up and up there you can see the DVD screen has come on. I'm going to pop in a copy of the, the Terminator to demo here. So that's the open and close for the, the DVD. So if I use that button after I've selected DVD, open, close, you've got to make sure you're on the, the right mode. And then I'll use play on, on here. And on the screen, you want to see that it's reacting, it's saying reading. There we go. And uh, let's see if we can skip to the, see, well, let me skip forward, but you can see that's playing now. So you can see that's all up and running, play using play on the control. But what I'll do is I'll show you one really nice thing. So if I pause this now 
and then we go back to the uh, the unit and put in a tape so i've got a copy of uh, the rock here and i pop the rock in and if I select now over to this side, so you can see the green button still on DVD. So if I select over here, you'll see the input will now change. So I'm on the video mode. And so that's now playing the rock. Using the controller, I'll select VCR. And you can see here, I can now pause, play. If I use the buttons on the, on the unit now, because it's selected to VH, uh, VHS, that will now do that and play but the nice thing is the dvd and the vhs don't forget where they are so if i pause this now so i pause the video there you've got uh, hummel at the grave and then on here i now select dvd do you remember where we were there so we're still at that part there so if i now carry on with this pause it there and then if i go back to the vcr we still have hummel at the grave there so you, Really nice unit, so coming back here, so that's the functionality shown there. So you've got the Ferguson somewhere on the top, but it plays your VHS and your DVD. Really nice function of um, remembering both, not dropping them, sharing the, the, the single set of controls there, except for the eject, and you have your remote that very simply, just by using the two different buttons, allows you to control both sides. So a really, really fantastic unit if, you, if you're looking for a two-in-one. So I'll now uh, eject this media. And I'll try and keep this video under 10, but I'm aware I'm already at six minutes with an intro, but this was a twin one, so it took slightly longer. turn that unit that off so we'll move on to the samsung next okay so this is a samsung sv203b um so as you can see on the front basically just says samsung video plus you've got the model name there Power eject, program up and down, rewind, play, stop, pause, and fast forward. Jet drive, N NTSC playback, and, v uh, and VHS PAL. Um, it's got this nice gunmetal black, um, which has survived from any real heavy scratching, which is nice. Um, nothing to really mention on the side, so it's just general wear for its age. On the rear of the device, much simpler, so you just have a... Um, uh, your scart out and a couple of uh, like an aerial uh, outs as well over there uh, it just has one nice touch which is you can put test on or off when you do test it will just send a signal to the tv to show that it's working when there isn't a tape inside so i'll pop that one on now Okay, plugged in, power it on, comes to life as you can see whilst that's doing its thing. So that's on and I mentioned that test button. So if you look up there and then I select test at the rear, you can see there, welcome to Samsung and it's basically shown that the picture is working okay. Uh, I put it back to the normal mode. We will uh, insert a tape. So again, I'll grab the rock, feed it in. No remote on this one, so you're just going to be manu manually operating it. When it comes, you can see you can see Hummel up there. And if I use the buttons down here, oh yeah, you might have just seen there. It does this nice little tracking thing as soon as it comes on. So that's paused. Playing, rewind, fast forward, there you go. So that's that one. So, uh, and then what do you want to do is stop, eject. So moving on to our final one. Okay. 
is this one here. This one is again is VHS only uh and it does not come with a controller this is a uh, a philips vr 530 condition uh is pretty good it's kind of in the middle for for wear so there's just a couple of marks here and there on the unit but the front is in good condition and on the rear you simply have well you've got those two outlets down there as before but you have the, the two outs there so the tv and an AV2, so that'd be if you were feeding to something else, but you'll just need that one to go to the TV. And there's your model number over there as well. There, perfect. So again, I think you're getting the idea now. Pop that on the, uh, the Tower of Power. Move the SCART lead into this one. Pop this into the power. And control wise, standby, counter reset. I think that's record, programs, stop and eject, play forward and backwards and still. So take going in. Comes to life straight away. And just using the, con the, the controls as before. So on this one, if I press still button, there we go, pauses. Um, press the play to start it again. Pressing the fast forward button now. Play. Rewind button. Play. Stop. And then coming back down. I'll press eject. And out it comes. So in summary, uh, just over 10 minutes, we have the Ferguson FVD100-01. Uh, some moderate wear on the top, but it's really nice with these two devices, uh, to, with the two formats, and it comes with this original control. We have the Samsung, which is the next one up. Um, which just plays the, the VHS in, and it's in uh, nice condition and an option if you perhaps want a gunmetal uh, gun black type uh, look in your cabinet. And that was the uh, SV203B. And then finally, we've got the Philips again without a controller for these two. So just man manually push the buttons. Uh, kind of middle ground for the for the condition. A little bit smaller than the, the Samsung unit in terms of its depth as well. So if you look from the side you can see the Samsung hang, hangs back a, a fair bit more than the other two units so a smaller footprint on that one if you're interested and that's without the controller and just plays you plays your tape um, but anyway I hope you have enjoyed that canter through the the the, uh, the, the three VH uh, uh, VCRs I will put a timestamp at the bottom to help anyone who's just interested in going straight to where they need to um, but other than that, I hope to see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment, always appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next one. All the best, take care and see ya.